Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese Zoys. Got another gameplay video for you guys today. This is going to be a defensive gameplay video, uh, pretty much centering around uh, a blitz that I've been using uh, online. It's really had a lot of success. There's not a lot of really great blitzes in Madden 21. Um, it just seems like EA's really done their best to patch just about every th single good blitz in the game. Which uh, in years past, there was it was the game was riddled with, with blitzes. So I'm not necessarily mad about it. But I came up with a really good one I, I shared it with you guys a couple days back and i told you guys i'd put out a, a video of uh, me just basically, basically making everybody quit with this particular defensive play so this is that video for some reason when i put that original video out too i still had a lot of people questioning that it worked or they couldn't get it to work themselves or they didn't think they could get all the the adjustments in in time um i mean i even in that original video i put out um, you know, in the beginning of it, I've had some, some gameplay footage at the beginning so people wouldn't question it. So I'll try to answer some of that uh, in this video, uh, but ultimately, I mean, this is just a really good blitz. Uh, I'm using the Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook, by the way. I'm also using the Green Bay Packers offensive ebook. Uh, links in the description below if you want to check them out. The Kansas City Chiefs ebook has a ton of really good blitzes in it uh, that I, I hesitate to put online because a lot of times EA will just pass them right away if everybody's running them. So if you want to check out some exclusive stuff, link in the description below. Other than that, if you guys could hook me up with a like, it really helps out my channel. Likes, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps me out. So if you want to show support, show support that way. And if you like what you see, make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button. So starting off on the defensive side this is really what this video is about the first adjustment i'm going to do is i'm always make sure that i put a safety at one of these linebacker spots the fastest one available uh, at the moment i put xavier mckinney in there later on i'm going to put taylor mays in there um, to give myself a little bit more speed because the more speed the better uh, and then when it comes to picking the play you can use just about any coverage i originally did that video out of a cover two but i find myself personally using a lot of cover one hole cover two man doesn't really work because you need a little bit more uh coverage but the cover one hole i really feel like you get a lot of coverage all around the field that you don't really sacrifice too much coverage you can still have the effect that you're seeing from the diagram here because i'm ultimately going to drop back and become the uh, the yellow zone now this first play here i didn't even get all the adjustments in my, my opponent doesn't look like he made any adjustments at all it quick hikes me but like i said the coverage on this particular variation is gotcha, going to be very good as you can see we get an interception on the first play so i don't know if he quit based off of the uh, the touchdown i scored right away on him or the fact that he got you know picked off right away but see ya. he went straight for the exit so I really didn't get a ton of actual pressure from that play, but you can see the coverage is going to be solid. So very next game, this is, uh, uh, you know, I'm on offense. For every one of these games, for some reason, I start off on offense. And I'm using my Green Bay Packers ebook once again. Uh, I'm using the PA Scenes play. It's another play that I just put out. Uh, it's a devastating man play. Uh, this first play, though, he's not in a man coverage, or at least I don't think he is. It looks like he's in a cover three. It's one of the few plays that this does not home run, uh, but I get a nice playmaker up the field, so ultimately it doesn't really matter. We get right down there. We're going explosive play after explosive play on this offensive series. And then on the next play, it looks like he's in a man coverage, which is ultimately the plan. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> I also put this out not too long ago. I tried to put a link in the description below for that as well. Uh, but we're back right on the defensive side after two plays, which is, like I said, the whole point. Going right back to that cover one hole. Like I said, I'm not going to sacrifice any coverage for this blitz. It's a five-man blitz. Uh, and ultimately on this first play, it's actually a four-man blitz. So it makes me think I didn't quite have all the adjustments in because I never left the defensive end. So the second the play starts, I was making all my adjustments, but I was still on the defensive end. I back off. You can see the, the left tackle uh, follows me and blocks absolutely nobody uh, and then on the inside there the, the running back does the exact same thing it's not a play action but for some reason these blitzes a lot of times they just run right around uh, the running back and the running backs just don't really block anybody now you can also see like i said since i accidentally took the defensive end out this is only a four-man blitz there's only four guys here engaged uh and for some reason two of them block absolutely nobody so on the next play here he's going to hit me with some run plays uh pick up a couple yards i mean that's going to be something you're going to see when you hit somebody with a really devastating blitz um, they're probably going to try to run the ball a little bit more than they normally would and then on the next play third and nine he's going to go for it in an empty back set you can't really run this blitz against an empty backfield based off of the fact that you have to have uh, a six guys in the box and if i take away one of these 
guys in coverage, it's really going to leave them wide open. It's not really going to work out. I'm sure I could do it out of like a cover four or something like that. There's other for me, other plays that I could probably do it out of, but the cover one doesn't really work. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, but it doesn't ultimately matter as we get an interception on this play, uh, and that's pretty much going to be it for my opponent as well. He ran three offensive plays. I ran two. I ran two offensive plays, and after five plays, we have another guy. See ya. Head for the exits. Like I said, they're, I mean, they're just getting extremely frustrated. One last game. This game started off really weird. For some reason, my controller wasn't letting me choose plays. It was completely non-responsive. It wasn't even letting me go to the dashboard uh, for Xbox. So I, I don't know. I thought my opponent was like glitching me out or something. Uh, but I got to work after two delayed game penalties. That's why I'm starting off on first and 20. Uh, and on the first play, he's running an all-out man blitz. He runs something that's pretty effective as he gets like really screaming edge heat here. Uh, and I, my running back barely picks it up. <laughs> As I throw it to the Y route one more time, he was actually in user coverage. He just kind of blew that user coverage, but it would have scored either way. I mean, honestly, it could have been a computer coverage or the user. Doesn't matter. We get the touchdown, and we're going right back to the defense. I showed that blitz for two reasons. One, you can see how the coverage totally failed, and two, because you can see how everybody's got their own exotic blitzes. Mine are just better. So on the defensive side, like I said, we're swapping out Taylor Mays here. We're going to go safeties at both the linebacker spots because I want both of them to be fast enough that they can come in on the blitz. And I want to be able to use one of them as well. So we're going to put Taylor Mays here. We don't really need linebackers in this formation. It's going to be better for the coverage. It's going to be better for the blitz as a whole. And then I'm going to go right back to that cover one, man. Uh, on this next series, I'm going to show you the breakdown. Like I said, all I really do, first thing I do, shift the defense to the right. Um, you typically want to have this blitz runner coming opposite the running back, motion him over a little bit. You can see right here, I figured out later that if you just blitz all linebackers, you only really have two on the field. So they'll both blitz. I typically uh, just auto I just blitz this one typically when I walk them down the line. Then the last few steps that are most important, I'm going to slant my defensive line to the right. I'm also going to hover this gap. I'm going to guess pass and QB contain. Uh, a couple of those aren't 100% necessary, but you definitely want to make sure you hover this gap for a second before you drop back. That's probably one of the biggest things. And you can see my, my blitzer comes right through. He barely gets the pass away. Uh, he's got some man beater set up. He's going to have some success uh, as far as that goes. He hits me with a hurry up, which I think he was trying to basically run these plays before I could set them up. But you can see I pretty much get them set up every single time. So it's not something that's really, I mean, there's a lot of steps. You might want to practice that, but it's really not that hard to get set up. And then you can see, once again, the guy's just coming right through the middle. You're going to get this look just about every single time, whether the running back's blocking or not. You're going to have a free blitzer. He's getting a few plays off of me. He's, he's hitting me with some man beaters before I have time uh, to really get back into coverage. Or to be honest with you, I'm probably just getting lazy on the sticks because this has been so successful. I'm just expecting the sacks, but he's running a lot of hurry-ups, and I'm still getting the setups in. So that's not really an excuse. You just have to practice the setups. You can see in the very next play, I don't even have the QB contain on because, like I said, it's not 100% necessary. Still get the pocket uh, free release, uh, and he hits me with another man beater. So I'm going to mix it up. I mean, that's one of the things that's best about this is you can use this play from any coverage. My second favorite coverage to use is going to be the, the cover two. Um, you can see he probably uh you know he's motioning this guy across i don't know if he's trying to figure out whether it's a man or a zone still because he saw me do these adjustments so many times uh in man so now he, he might be confused he might be trying to, to give away the coverage with that motion i'm not really sure uh, but you can see as soon as the play starts it almost looks like this guard is going to do his job and take that Fight. glitcher on then sure enough he just walks Woo. away which is you know that's kind of the point of this play like i said super glitchy uh with how the the, the the offensive line really just doesn't do its job properly and a lot of times the running backs completely whiff as well on the next play second and 19 uh we're gonna hit him with that one more time like i say he's running the exact same play uh, on this particular play though for some reason gets picked up so it's not i mean maybe i didn't stay in the pocket long enough because you saw i got in the coverage pretty quick but ultimately i mean it should work you know 90 percent of the time as long as i do my job and stay down in this gap long enough to pull the offensive line over uh which on that play i didn't do here i get caught up in the trash altogether and i guess he he recognized it was a cover two zone so he hits me with a streak right over the middle uh which is going to happen so you definitely want to mix up your coverages that's probably the thing the biggest thing that i did not do is i i might have fell in love with one defense in you know too many times in a row whether it's man or cover two this next nope. play hits me with a slant i was all over it the blitz didn't get through because i probably left a little bit too early so that's really the uh the fine line you have to walk is uh whether you're leaving too early or not uh whether you're sacrificing a, a coverage for uh, a blitz i mean that stuff can happen but this play obviously is very successful so in the next play once again coverage is there he catches that though which like i said very tight coverage but you know i'm gonna mix it up so in the next play here i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna try to 
bait them a little bit. I look like I'm setting up the blitz, but I'm really not. I'm just leaving the uh, the guys to drop back into coverage just to try to try to trick him into throwing a, a hot route, a hot read, which is something you can do. I mean, you can set this, you can set, make it look like you're setting the blitz up and then not actually send the blitz. And you can see his timings all off. He's just throwing it right away. He got the first down there, but it was only you know it's, it was in inches anyway. So of course he's gonna get that. So next play, I do the exact same thing, or I plan to. And I don't know if his internet cut out or he just got tired of the tedious uh, drag of playing against this particular blitz. Uh, I couldn't tell you, but he gets disconnected. That's three games in a row uh, where, you know, my opponent quit 7-0. See ya! So we're going to go over and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.